Welcome back, Victoria here. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe. So today you get to see Louise's second half of that treatment you saw last week. This is Reiki. Reiki is a beautiful healing technique where therapists use hands either on or just over the body to help harmonize the chakras. So I'll see you soon. So in this treatment today, you will see me work with Louise's base chakra and then down her legs through her feet which is essential for grounding and helping to bring people back down to earth and also to help people who are a little bit in too much thought and in their heads and they just need to come down to to their essence to who is them and then I come up with the energy to hands and arms, back up to the head, and then I help close the chakras and bring Louise back to earth with a lovely wrapping sensation. So please do stick to the end as you'll see Louise get up, come back round, and Louise and I have a little chat. So at the start of the treatment that you saw last week, I made sure Louise was comfortable with a cushion under her knees, a cover over her whole body, some cucumber, refreshing toner on the cotton wool over her eyes, followed by a beautiful eye pillow that just sinks gently into the eye sockets. You then saw me tune in to Louise's energy, the energy of the room, the interaction of her and my energy together. I opened with tuning into the white light above her head, allowing the energy to open, ready to treat the chakras. You then saw me treat the upper chakras and I'm now resting above the base chakra. At the end of last week's, I talked you and Louise through a inner child visualization, which really helps connect us with our sacral chakra creativity and imagination, laughter and fun. I'm now soothing using a massaging effect with my downturned palms over the base also called the root chakra. I'm using Reiki symbols to help energize, correct, balance and harmonize that lower area, which helps gives us our survival, our determination and motivation. That feeling that we are strong and stable and capable in this life. We have all the tools we need at our disposal. I'm talking Louise through the red energy of the base chakra, massaging the aura, which feels such a dense area. That's a good thing. It needs to be solid and stable, supportive. Louise has travelled quite a long distance to get to me for this treatment and she'll have that same distance to travel, travel back later on. And I want her to feel grounded and rooted, not too light-headed from the treatment and able to drive home. I've now come back up to the solar plexus. This is the area I mentioned in last week's first part of this Reiki treatment, where Louise 
was feeling a little like there needed to be a little bit more help here. The solar plexus is all about our self-confidence, our self-esteem, and that feeling of introspection where we look deep inside ourselves at our essence. You know, what is it that keeps us going? What is it that keeps us motivated in life? What is it that makes us beam from ear to ear, our eyes shine and our feeling of excitement and butterflies radiate from us. For me, the thing that makes me the happiest of all is when I can help people, when I can give people the key to tune into themselves so that they see themselves for who they are so they can tune into that wonderful golden and yellow light of their solar plexus. And these are the words I'm giving Louise right now to help her see herself, her essence, for who she really is deep down inside. Louise has had the most amazing, life-changing experience in the last few years of changing her job, her role in life, the thing that motivates her. She has given up a very well-paid job, but one that wasn't fulfilling her inner need. And this is something I connect with myself. I did the same thing many years ago. I changed my career. Everything that was funding my life, I risked everything and managed with the support of my dear husband to change that part of me that was funding my life and I became a therapist. And Louise has done a very similar thing. She was not happy in her old career and she decided to become a canine massage therapist. She is now fully qualified having spent a couple of years changing, educating, training and providing the tools necessary for that change of career. You can see me using Reiki symbols here to really ground and solidify the changes, the harmony and balance provided at that centre. I'm now in contact with the sides of her abdomen just above her hips so that I'm grounding that change. So Louise has really gone for, uh, she's been very determined and probably taken a few risks, but managed to get everything in place and now is really busy and successful in her new role. I am so, so happy for her. And maybe she will comment on the feed of this video one day as to how this particular treatment has made her feel and how the change in career has landed with her in her life and what it's done for her. 
I think for those of us that do take that big risk and change our career to something that we feel is fulfilling and connecting with our inner essence really makes us shine from the inside out. So, with this knowing, with Louise knowing and myself knowing where she is in, on her life's journey right now, I am helping her center this feeling at her solar plexus with that golden yellow light of sunshine helping that chakra turn more easily and reassuring you can see me smiling there that I can feel that beam of light those sun's rays beaming out from that solar plexus and I am helping her with the reassurance that she has done the right thing, that she is on the right path in life for where she needs to be going and that sometimes we don't need to concentrate on the areas where there may be a blockage. We simply facilitate the other areas surrounding any blockage to help the other chakras with harmony and balance and they will come back and help other chakras connected with them to move open and accept energy and healing. In fact, this is what we do with core therapy as well. When we feel a blockage at a particular vertebra, we will simply come away from the area and make sure the connected and further away vertebras, further away spine, is able to move and shift, is able to isolate and not move as one long spine, but actually as isolated vertebrae. And now you'll have seen that I have brought my hands in contact with the body. I have been in contact with the knees and now come down to the ankles in order to help ground. If you've been watching my recent series on self-massage, you'll have seen that the ankles, feet and soles are very much connected with our ability to move on in life and our standing in life. If we don't feel that we are standing on a firm base and that our ankles are supporting our great weight then we won't feel that we can move forward in life. So by solidifying and grounding the feet, it helps us to ground our standing in life and our ability to feel strong, stable, and we are supporting ourselves. How wonderful. Maybe where you are right now, you can feel that solidity. 
Either touch your soles to the floor, your hands to something that will ground you. Maybe where you're sitting, you can ground yourself from the base of your spine to your sit bones down to the earth. I've now come back to that chakra. Like I was saying, when I feel that there need, just needs to be a little bit more love, I come back and with my full intention, my full intuition, my power of sending love and healing, I'm coming back to the base chakra, giving a lovely, sending love and a power symbol to the base. Same again, power symbol this time to the sacrum, feeling into the solar plexus using the symbol, slightly closing so that Louise will go away protected and not too open in life, that we leave it ajar Moving up to the heart, feeling what the heart energy is doing, giving the power symbol, slightly closing so that the door remains ajar, giving a little bit more energy there, a couple more symbols. And now, using a different hand position, working around the throat, the thyroid, the neck, back to the blue energy, feeling it move. I'm sitting myself down so that I can feel more into that throat energy around the jaw that I spoke about in last week's. You can see me beaming here with the lovely energy and love that is coming through from that expressive throat energy, the Vishuddhi Chakra. I'm now hovering above the face and feeling into the Ajna which is the third eye chakra. This lovely purple glowing light is so reassuring. It helps us tune in with our intuition. It's such an important sense to have. Feeling around the ears, for hearing and listening. And now over the crown chakra. I'm sending you some love as I'm looking at the camera right at you. The beautiful crown chakra, which can be seen as an indigo light. It can be a bright white light of healing, the sort you see very early in the morning as the sun first comes up. It's one of those translucent lights that surrounds and fills you with radiance. And I am tuning into that sense now. You notice I'm not giving Louise any visualization or words at this stage. It is simply the feeling of tranquility and connectedness. My hands now back in contact with Louise's shoulders. to help ground and centre, help bring back to earth so 
so that all of the chakras are in tune with each other. They have been opened, balanced, energized, partly closed so that they are in tune with each other and connected. And now it's so important to feel grounded after such a deep and profound treatment. Louise may well be feeling lightheaded and yet centered. She may well be feeling an intense warmth around her head and face. It's a deeply pleasant sensation. She may well be having visions like little dreams or life events flashing past. Childhood memories, happy pictures vividly depicting past events. She will be left with a feeling of feeling cleansed emotionally, physically and energized. Some people even have a sense of feeling close to a past relative maybe even a vision in front of them of colours or shapes or even taking form of something or someone in a beautiful light in front of them in a lovely way that they can connect with them with a sense of reassurance a totally settled feeling not unpleasant at all, but actually feeling that it is right that this vision was meant for them at this moment. Other feelings may be like their legs may be feeling longer and heavier. They may see or feel colours around and within them. They may feel grounded or a buzzing or vibrating sense on or around their skin. I'm just talking to Louise now to bring her back into the room. I'm keeping my movements very slow and quiet while I form a contact again with her energies, just centering down back to her feet, wrapping around over the top and underneath her. Sometimes Reiki masters at this stage will bring the energy up if they need to feel uplifted and bring the energy down if they need to be grounded. And we simply do what we feel that the body, the mind and the spirit need at that moment. giving thanks and gratitude, appreciation for this moment. I'm feeling a deep feeling of centeredness, a real connection with Louise and her energy at this time. It takes me a while to feel back into my physical body and as I do so I like to connect and ask Louise to feel in contact with her feet and her hands, to take a few breaths, to turn the ankles and the wrists 
turning into the shoulders, rotating in order to move those arms, stretching down through the hands and wrists. It's such a lovely feeling to keep deep breathing during this wonderful time of coming back into the room. Bending into one knee and the other in order to move into the pelvis. You may want to follow these movements at home at the same time. And now bringing the knees up to the upper body, holding and rocking from one side to the other. It's a lovely feeling to massage the pelvis and spine deep into the ground. The feet coming back down to the earth while the arms come back over, over the head, stretching one nice long body movement above the head maybe turning to one side as I call it a banana and to the other stretching the banana the other side deep breath and back down to earth and the sun has come out while Louise has been lying down so I give a little caution that she may want to open her eyes very slowly as it's very bright after we have had the eyes closed for so long. Louise has sat up, it's really good to have a glass of water to ground ourselves once more. She feels a great need for some thirst and clearing the Vashudi chakra, the throat chakra. <laughs> She's feeling a little lightheaded, a little away with the fairies. So I have a little contact with her shoulder, a little laugh. And Louise needs that water. And in fact, after one glass, she does then ask for another glass of water. And I ask her to do something which helps ground. You might want to do this at home. This is called a kavacha. So rubbing the, the palms together nice and firmly and then holding those warm palms over closed eyes. Then very slowly massaging the palms into the orbital bone Feeling that darkness there, bringing the hands slightly further down and very slowly opening the fingers, just gently, and opening the eyes very slowly so that we're opening our eyes to those darkened palms. And then using those warm hands and palms to massage around the forehead, the face, all of the cheekbones, the jaw and into the scalp all over the top of the head, the temporal bones, the parietals around the back of the head which is the occipital and then even the ears. Louise and I now share a laugh over how she's feeling. She has another glass of water while she tells me all the different sensations, even the colours, the feeling of tranquility, but also as she does have a good knowledge of the chakras, she's a regular meditator, so she is quite in tune with her own body, her chakras and the colours. We are able to connect and share our stories on how she felt while I was concentrating on particular areas She was talking here about each chakra, 
solar plexus chakra where I did spend quite a lot of time and a lot of my aftercare is connecting and reassuring allowing people to know that they have come so far that they are an amazing human being and that they can always come back for more at any time to suit them. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Let's spread a little healing.